What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's doing well. Today I wanna do an unboxing on this gravel cleaner with glass scraper. Now, I have two pythons for my freshwater aquariums. They both have different hose sizes um, in different locations where I need to pump in water from the faucet. I wanted to get this for the Red Sea Reefer 350 because I went bare bottom and there's a section, a corner of the tank that gathers all of the debris and detritus. I was drawn to this gravel cleaner because of the, the length of the tube. Uh, let me get it open right here. On the description it says the tube is 35 inches and I think my tank is at about 24 inches so I thought it would be great for the Red Sea Reefer because I can easily attach these two tubes together and kind of not even stick my hand into the aquarium and right here it has a um, air pressing button to start the siphon so I wouldn't even need to put my mouth on the hose to start the siphon so my idea is to get this see what's in here all of the parts so it's just a tube the pipe so you attach two to this piece right here the adapter to get it super long like so. so this piece the picture looks like it goes on here and this attaches like so see the hose Hose is right here. Goes in. Now they have a couple of other pieces. Um, these two pieces, it looks like a scraper with an adapter. So when you're siphoning, you can scrape the glass and it will just suck up the, the algae out of the tank. I don't think I'll be using this that much. Uh, this piece right here, it looks like it's a clip to clip it where your bucket is so you wouldn't have any mishaps with the hose and having it drain all over your floor. This piece right here, it looks like a cutoff. So you have a siphon going and you want to cut it off, just slide it like so and it pinches the hose. Now, instead of siphoning the water into a bucket, I wanted to whip this out like weekly because I'm not going to do weekly water changes on the Red Sea Reef for 350. Um, I was planning on connecting this piece to a sock filter. All right, here's the Red Sea Reefer 350. I uh, still haven't changed water on this tank. It's been a month or two now since starting and I never changed out the tap water. I just added salt and went at it. Uh, with research, everyone says that the tap water would like give you a bad start and you'll get a bunch of algae all over the place. I did go through some diatom stages and I do see algae pop up here and there, but pretty much it's not that bad. And I have this lawnmower Blenny. He's constantly picking at the algae and the rock work looks okay. I don't have any crazy hair algae or anything like that, but all of the detritus is right here on this corner so what i was hoping was to use that tool 
because it's 35 inches you can easily stick it in and just start siphoning out the the water and with the water coming out I don't want to collect it into a bucket I wanted to redirect it into the sump and kind of filter out all of the crap and just have the water come back into the sump. Uh, sumps right here. Let me turn on the lights. My K1 media filter never started tumbling. I need to figure out what's going on with that. The skimmer um, is a, it's very beneficial to have a skimmer like this because I feel like it's pulling out all of the nasty gunk and it's uh, helping me limit my water changes. So check that out right there, how dark that is. That's all poop and detritus and pretty much crap. <laughs> the filter socks right here, I, I need to change out the, the filter pads. So if I see it overflowing like this, it means my pads are um, clogged up. So what I do is pull it out and I'll let you see what it looks like. See the pads right here? It's all gunked up and nasty. So what I do is Sorry, I'm doing this one-handed right now. So Here's what I see. So I have the two filters going and in it I have a lot of um, pond matrix for beneficial bacteria and when the, the pads are clogged up you start to see it kind of overflowing so it's a sign for me to pull out the pads and put in new pads. I pull it out I put two in the first one's clogging up so from there I just get a new clean one that's already pre-cut and I just put it back in We'll do the first chamber also. Once everything's in, and new you don't see it clogging up all of the water is just going down the two cups here it comes out and the water gets skimmed goes into this chamber and then back to the return pump so what I got on Amazon was this piece right here it's just a sock holder but what drew me to the sock holder was this pipe on top. I thought it would be good for the tubing to go into so I wouldn't have to worry about it kind of flipping out. But with the tool itself, they provided a clip. So I'm gonna clip it right here and start the siphon. So this area here is for a four inch sock filter. I went out and bought another cup. Instead of buying these acrylic cups from BRS, I saw it on Amazon and I thought it would be easier. Instead of buying the same four inch cups right here for this sock holder, I went out and bought the Red Sea filter media cup. It's four inches too. In the beginning, I was debating be between this one and these two and I bought these two right here because they came out cheaper but I always wondered how this one works because it has more slits on the bottom this one right here just has 
holes on the very bottom, not on the side like the Red Sea media cups. So I bought this just to test out and see how it's like. But I wanna take this cup, put it in here, use some of the pinky media floss, stick it in. So when I siphon out the water, it's just gonna collect all of the detritus. Once everything's um, siphoned out, I can just easily throw away all of the floss. So let me get that in and then I'll show you how everything looks. So I wanted to just quickly film what's inside the box, see if anything's special, but I doubt that anything's in there. It's a pretty basic cup for what it is. They charge, I think they charge too much. It just looks like a plastic cup with um, slits on the bottom, but it's gonna fit your sock holders perfectly. So let's see what's inside. It's just a cup. It's pretty sturdy. I thought it would be more kind of thin and flimsy. It's very sturdy. And they give you a free sock filter. But this one, it looks very... Oh, it's not even a sock filter. It's a free media bag. Put that aside. We'll slide this in. All right, this is what I have so far. The tube's pretty long. I forget how tall the Red Sea Reefer 350 is, but I think the tube itself is 35 inches total and this is how tall it is. I'm thinking about cutting off a little bit just to make it fit, but we can go from the side like this and get to the detritus that way. But here's the the tube itself and then the the hose it's going down and this clip came in handy it's clipped to the pipe and I have my sock filter or my media cup in place with the floss on the bottom I'm gonna start the siphon and siphon everything up and let's see how it works All right, I got the camera back in my hands now. With two hands, very easy to get that siphon started. All the water's flowing through right now and into the cup. What I like is the, the hose is not too wide, so it's not sucking up a gigantic amount of uh, um, water that would affect my flow in the sump. I turn off my auto top off so the alarm doesn't go crazy but i'm gonna set up the camera right here and capture some shots of the detritus getting out of here this is gone I want to test out this piece right here since my thing is bare bottom and down in the glass it's not perfectly clean but I want to see if this would scrape some of that algae off and suck it up at the same time I wasn't really planning on using this because the lawnmower blending 
he enjoys eating the, the algae itself. So I never thought of scraping the bottom of the, of the glass, but since I have this here, I'm just gonna use it to see how it goes. I don't think I was using that attachment correctly because I don't think it was designed to scrape the bare bottom of the glass or at the bottom at all because it was at a weird angle it wasn't really scraping anything off of the glass I don't have any major hair allergies or anything like that to um, scrape with that tool and I have that lawnmower blend me so he takes care of the algae and I prefer some algae in there so they they can graze it's not a bad thing to have algae in your tank as long as you control it I have this tool right here the flipper which I did a video the previous video comparing this one with the nano and I use it almost every day for the glass just to keep everything um, kind of crisp and clean now I think this siphon tool right here is pretty good for the price it was around $15 uh, I know the pythons out there, but with salt water, I can't exactly uh, fill the tank with that with tap water. Um, I could use it to drain salt water into the sink, but I've been doing it um, with buckets anyways. What I wanted this um, tool for was to kind of have it reach in and strategically suck out the detritus without me having my entire arm in the tank. Now without this tool, I would have a hose and I would have the end of the hose on my hand like so and I would stick my entire arm into the tank and I think this tank is like 25 inches high and I'm six feet and it's already at my armpit. So I might need a stool or something like that and I hate sticking my arm in there because it, um, releases body oils and things or whatever you have on your body um, cologne sweat it releases it into the tank and it could affect the, the corals and things like that and speaking of lawnmower blenny I uh, saw him just working right now he, they were all working on the glass the back glass I haven't scraped that at all and it's pretty it's pretty it's not bad to be honest I thought it would be way worse um, without me touching it at all but here you'll see him come up there and um, kind of take some bites off of that um, algae off the glass but when I'm filming you saw him come back down <laughs> let's see if he does it but anyways I think this tool is very beneficial There's a lot of thought put into it for $15 and they give you the extra um, pieces to scrape glass if you guys are using um, fresh water and have hair algae and things like that let me know if you guys have this tool how that that piece works but what I bought it for was just the tube itself and the this part right here where it starts to siphon it um, saves me from putting the hose on my mouth and sucking sucking the water down and they give you the clip right here to securely put it in place I think it's a good deal I'll leave a link down in the description if you guys want to buy one for yourself I think one tube would be enough for um, 10 and 20 gallons and the second tube you can modify if you have deeper tanks anyways that's all I have for today. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.